This mod is a gift for both Digimon and Minecraft lovers, the mod focuses on training and raising a Digimon similar to the Digimon World series but also trying to be its own thing. When you first join the world, you will receive a random Digimon and some training items, and you can train it to make it stronger. The mod also provides you with a Digibus, allowing you to view your Digimon's specific stats and data in real time. Additionally, you can use packs to level up your Digimon. There are 9 types of packs, which not only increase the experience of your Digimon but also provide them with specific data. Similar to Pokemon, when Digimon reach specific levels, they will evolve, and each Digimon can evolve twice. It's important to note that if your Digimon dies, they will need to evolve again, so you must ensure their survival. The mod adds a total of 14 tameable Digimons, all of them with impressive textures and animations, so if you've ever watched this anime series, you'll be familiar with them. Finally, hostile Digimons now spawn in large numbers in the overworld, and you can find different types of Digimons in various biomes. Vanadium is a simple naive implementation for custom colors in resource packs with caching and blending. The mod allows you to use different types of custom color resource packs, and supports Colormatic, Optifine, and Vanadium color spaces in resource packs. It also caches colors and allows for smoother blending between different biomes, waters, and other areas. Allayed is a mod that adds some new features to Allays and Vexes, they will now have a chance to spawn with new tools and weapons. The new tools have the attack damage and durability of iron weapons, the mining level of diamond tools, and the mining speed of gold. They also grant you a new ability, holding an Allay tool near an Allay grants you flight, but also causes exhaustion. Right-clicking on a block while using an LA tool will allow you to place the block in the adjacent slot, convenient for building and mining. The plasma item is obtained by smelting LA or Vex tools in a furnace. Placing the item magnet in your offhand will allow for all mine block drops to instantly be inserted into your inventory.
Along with the new Alay toolset, there is now also two new Vex weapons. Instead of Vexes spawning with iron swords, they will now spawn with either a Vex sword or a Vex axe. These two new weapons do not have the benefits of Alay weapons, but can be smelted to obtain plasma. This mod adds a horse armor stand, and just like with the classic armor stand in vanilla, you can display your favorite horse armor. It should work with no problem with any mods that add vanilla looking armor to the game. Dynamic Lights is a mod that supports entities and items to emit light. Currently, it supports 25 items such as torches, lanterns, and campfires. The mod is completely server-side, but can also be installed on the client for single-player worlds, and no Optifine required. For entities, it currently supports three mobs, as well as end crystals, TNT, and other explosives. This mod adds a difficulty system that makes mobs stronger and have special abilities. There is a level associated with all enemies. Level is determined by the dimension, biome, position, nearby player difficulty, and entity type. As the level becomes higher, mobs have higher health and deal higher damage and higher chance to have strong traits. There is a difficulty level assigned to chunk sections and players, killing mobs to gain chunk and player difficulty and die to lose player difficulty. You can use Hostility Detector to know about current difficulty and use Hostility Orb to make a chunk section permanently not spawning mobs with level. In total, there are 23 traits, including the standard 18 traits and 5 legendary traits. The legendary traits will only be unlocked when you kills a mob with rank 5 traits. Dementor, mobs will be immune to physical attack and their damage will bypass armor. Dispelling, mobs will be immune to magic attack and their damage will bypass magical protections and they can also disable enchantments on your equipments for a short time. Teleport, mobs can teleport to avoid physical damage and try to use magic. Repelling, mobs will repel you, try to use magic or thrown weapon with ender hand enchantment from L2 weaponry. Undying, mobs will respawn indefinitely, you have to use cursed potion or weapons that can inflict cursed effect. Enemy expansion adds a new mob in the update, Resting Vigor. This mischievous sprite lies atop the head of many a zombie and skeleton who wander about, healing all nearby undead every time its host is hurt. When its host is lost, it will frantically fly around, continuously healing all its deceased allies until it itself is slain. Be sure to prioritize anybody who dare carry a Vigor into a fight, for they'll be the ones who will ensure a group battle is extended should you leave them be. Only Hammers adds a tons of hammer that can mine a 3x3 area, each hammer is based on vanilla material. This mod adds custom heads to the game, and now mobs will have unique heads when they spawn. When mobs spawn in specific biomes, their heads are influenced by the biome they are in. For example, skeletons will become drowned skeletons when they spawn underwater, jungle skeletons when they spawn in jungles, and there will be snowy skeletons in cold regions now. Furthermore, some rare variants will also spawn with higher tier equipment and additional buff effects. Nourish End is a legacy remake of Old Enlightened, made into a lightweight expansion for the End Dimension, allowing players to survive and thrive without overloading the End with new content. The mod adds new bamboo-like plant that allows for wood gathering in the End. Adds Gelatide Bulbs, a new plant that grows up big melon bulbs allowing for renewable food in the End.
adds chorus jelly, a new food made with sugar and chorus fruit that applies a new effect, preventing the consumer from jumping and falling. Finally, adds decorative blocks and oars. This mod adds hostile humans with structures into your world. The structures mostly consist of different homes of various sizes with hostile humans inside, but there is also a faction of humans with their own structures under a banner, meant to be the human version of pillagers. Human Tier 1 usually found in houses that randomly generate, a Tier 1 human spawns with basic armor and weapons such as iron or worse. Human Tier 2 usually found in structures under the sword banner or homes with good loot, they spawn with strong armor and weapons such as iron or better, sometimes enchanted. Roamer has a rare chance to spawn during the day, you may find a roamer killing animals for food or appearing to head somewhere like an actual player. The roamers are hostile to all mobs, and their armor and weapons are completely random. In addition, there is a rare chance a battle will spawn nearby where a group of humans will be fighting a group of pillagers or another group of humans. Finally, the humans are very intelligent and can do almost anything a player can, like run and jump, do melee crits, use or throw potions, use totems of undying or tridents, heal themselves, and a lot more. They also have realistic awareness, unless already spotted by someone, humans are only able to spot the player by looking directly at them and won't randomly detect the player from behind like a zombie. Mutation Craft adds 5 new entities in the latest update. Flayer is a stage 3 entity, therefore it spawns only after stage 3 officially hits. He can shoot necropter bombs at you and also go underground. But there is one more way for him to spawn, that would be if an assimilated human kills 5 skeletons. Corrosion Queen is the flawless queen of the infected sea, she has mutated wings on her body, scales are messed up and she can partially fly. Her hits are hard because not only she deals a massive amount of attack damage, but she also inflicts corrosion on each hit and degrades armor even more as time passes. She can begin a chant that will slow all the players in her range for 15 seconds, during this, you cannot move at all. Once she kills a player, she'll recover to max health, and because of her scales, she has an amazing armor, making her even more impossible to kill. Human Herder is a big and tanky brute, made just to destroy its surrounding enemies. He has a special attack that works only on players but if you are hit, it'll throw you far in the distance. He is an experiment made from multiple humans and human stages, also a stage 4 mob which means that he's very strong and you got to have good equipment when battling him. Resenter is a new tanky brute, this mob is one of the strongest in mutation craft even though he has no special abilities. Assimilated Creeper is a new assimilated variant. He is very fast and will bypass hazmats, when on touch with the player he'll explode. This ability activates when he has less than 10 health. He will use weak hits to aggro you, encouraging you to attack him and trigger his explosive reaction. This mod alters the Creeper's explosion mechanics. Now their explosions cannot destroy blocks but instead generate a burst of spores in place. The spores will randomly hatch into one to two mini creepers, which will then pursue and attack the player. Additionally, the mod adds a firebomb, which is used to kill creepers. If creepers are killed by an explosion, they will now drop spores, which can be used to craft more spore items. You can also use spores to summon loyal mini creepers that will assist you in attacking a designated target. Finally, both the Spore Arrow and Spore Bomb will generate Creeper Spore Clouds upon hitting a target. This mod allows you to cross the Bedrock Barrier between the Overworld and Nether. Standing on Bedrock at the bottom of the Overworld will teleport you to the same coordinates in the upper layers of the Nether, and touching your head against the bedrock at the top of the nether will teleport you to the same coordinates at the bottom of the overworld. If you are in adventure or survival mode, the teleportation process will create an air pocket at your destination. And if you are in creative or spectator mode, you will still teleport, but an air pocket won't be made so that the world isn't affected by operators or spectating players. 
This mod completely eliminates the swirling animation for entering a nether portal. This is a simple fabric mod that makes it so that you can eat food when your hunger bar is full. All foods now work like golden apples and enchanted golden apples, which you can already eat with full hunger. This is especially useful in those tense situations when you're taking damage and aren't regenerating fast enough. This is an extension module of Farmer's Delight, which includes some food from Europe and the author's casual ideas. The mod adds five new edibles, Stargazy pie, quiche Lorraine, Yorkshire pudding, fish and chips, and beef noodles, you can also make cheese now. This is a simple mod that allows doors to be placed on stairs, as well as other blocks such as vertical slabs from auto slabs. Nature's Spirit is a mod that aims to expand upon Minecraft's diverse environments by adding in many new biomes which extend vanilla's immersion and reflect scattered places throughout the real world ranging from Mexico to Vietnam. Along with this it extends the block palette of the game to include both muted and pastel colors in the form of kaolin, a clay type block, and chalk, a pastel block set, both viable. Overall, Nature's Spirit brings the game further to life, creates relatable environments to a large player base, and extends the capabilities of building through many new blocks. This mod brings various extinct animals to the game. Each creature has its own unique animations, drops and behaviors to make them feel alive and fit with the world of Minecraft. Chatshot is a small client-side mod that allows you to copy a chat message to clipboard as text or as a transparent image. To do this, just click the button behind a chat message or the button in the bottom right to copy a screenshot of the entire chat. This mod simply introduces an adorable baby creature. It's faster than a regular creeper but has a relatively smaller explosion power. This is a decoration mod that seeks to add new garden-themed objects to set your buildings. Currently, there are already several mods that add furniture, this mod seeks to be one more complement to them, since you can find hundreds of different objects and elements with which to decorate your world. This mod makes the armor layer of villagers, illagers, witches, and some other mods visible, just similar to zombie villagers. Vanilla allows villagers, illagers, and witches wear armors, but client players cannot see directly. If you install this mod, you will easily know what they are wearing. This mod is very simple, it makes the torch flower emit light. 